Fuck you. Third fucking time. It's not possible. It's not fucking possible to do this topic in uh, one fucking shot. Not possible. Fuck you. So I got a new match on Tinder. I love that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I just want to check Tinder. Uh, guys, it's not, a, no, it's not about sex, you know. It's my making friends. Uh, we're gonna talk about fuck I really want to check tinder uh, but this is the third fucking ta take and we're gonna make this now I cannot make this in one video so we are just gonna talk about the fu fucking mechanical shit of building an engine I've been here like one hour now just talking about shit and every time stuff like this come up, you know, and in the first take was fucking cat. Uh, okay, so building an engine is a lot more fucking complicated than you think. But other guy, yeah, you. It's a lot easier than you think. A lot easier. It's nothing to it, you know. Building an engine or building a car is just Lego. It doesn't, it doesn't, matter if you have the pieces or not you know it's it's so fucking simple it's you know so you have to do it right now everybody has to build a car that's mega important so building an engine fucking third take so we build engines because we need the options Right? We have options for everything. We can replace our rings. That's an option. You know? We can replace our bearings. We can replace anything. We can replace the rods, which is a uh, common upgrade for these engines, or all engines, I would say. But it also gives us control. And that's why we build. We build an engine to regain control over the engine. Because the engine is built from factory. It was very good when it was new. Now, yeah, it might be good, you know. But it is fucking 25 years old. Or 30 years old, you know. If we're talking 6 or 4, they were launched in 1993. That's 29 fucking years ago. You know, and it's the same, same engine, really. So, and I don't know when they launched the 606. Maybe it was the last, last one of them all, right? 93. I mean, 605 has to be like 95 or something. Doesn't matter. This is the third take. I'm not going to talk about fucking uh, launch dates of these engines. But they're fucking old. And that's the important thing. They were good when they were new. Today they might be good. But we have lost a little bit of control. And we can regain that by building the engine. And by building the engine we're going to supersede the Mercedes specifications. Because we have the option to do that. And the, the, the most important part, and this is what we're going to talk about now for another 10 minutes, weighing and balancing. We have two kinds of engines. And this is so complicated to explain when people don't, I mean, the guys that know what the fuck I'm talking about. You get this in, in, in a minute. But for, for you guys that don't know, I have to explain this so you understand. And that's really fucking hard. So we have two types of engines. We have engines, um, let's say cranks. We have cranks that are in their design, balanced, you know, or they, they can of course be out of balance, but the design of the crank is 
is in balance. And we have cranks that are in the design nowhere near balanced, like like this, you know. Um, and you can you can easily look at you can easily see that on. Um, um, it's called ignition sequence, right? So you can see that on the ignition sequence that, that you know, like, like you have a V8, and if you have a, a flat plane V8, like a Ferrari or, or the Ford GT350R, uh, the ignition sequence from the, from the two different banks is bum, 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 like this, you know? And then you have, like an LS engine or a small block Chevy or something like that, and it's bum 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 bum. It is nowhere near any type of design balance. So uh, five cylinder engines and normal V8 engines are not in balance in their design. Now the Sicaria is coming, so maybe she knocks the fucking phone over. Uh, so the other engines, we talk about four cylinder and six cylinder and the flat plane V8 cranks. They are in their design balanced. So the difference between the non-balanced, let's just say that, you know, non-balanced and balanced, and now we know what we're talking about. This is the biggest killer of Junkus. She kills everything. She is the worst. And, and then she's so cuddly, and then she go and kills something. Uh, so, non-balanced and balanced. That's the terms we're using. Uh, the non-balanced engines, they need to be balanced with something that is called bob weights. And those are the only engines. The, the balanced engines, they don't need this. Otherwise, everything is the same. And this is the hard part to explain, you know, that you have to understand that everything is similar in all type of engines except for one stage and one step and this step is the bob weight balancing so the bob weights is like the combined weight of crank uh, of rods and pistons so you put this on your crank and you balance the crank together with this bomb bob weights and of course you have the damper and the flywheel and whatnot on is the complete rotating assembly on the balanced balanced design franks you only use the shit that rotates and not goes up and down so no piston and no rods no bob weights it's only damper with the bolt and the, uh, the crank hub uh, this uh, sprocket hub uh, shit uh, thing and and the flywheel in the, in the other end, you know? Um, so so, so th that's the thing, you know? Bob weights or not. So balancing an engine uh, is, I'm a man, okay? I can't do two fucking things at the same time. Uh, the simultan, simultan capacitance for Morgan in fucking Swedish, the, it's, is poor. So, you know, it's um, when we balance our engine, we talk about weighing and balancing because the first step is to weigh. We have to know the weight of the pistons and the rods. We can't balance the pistons or the rods. So, the pistons need to be put on a scale and from the lightest to the heaviest you need to be within one gram and for you guys living in the states that is like four pounds 
I don't know. It's very fucking little. So it's probably three quarters of an inch times nine eighteenths. And there you have it. Uh, so it's really logical. Just kidding. What the fuck? So within one gram, lightest to heaviest. Okay? And the rods, you know? You put your rods on the scale, it's 700 grams. Fuck you. Doesn't give you shit. That's not how you weigh your rods. Right? So you weigh your rods in the small end and in the big end. And they need to weigh the same. Of course not the small end and the big end. All small ends and all big ends, of course. You know? So you weigh your pistons and you weigh your rods. And this is something you can actually do yourself. The rods, it is really good to have a lathe. Lathe, lathe, lathe. What the fuck? A fucking turning machine, you know? So, because it's much easier to get the weight off evenly. So you can, you can turn it around the big end or turn it around the small end. And... Uh, yeah, in, in that way, remove material and change the weight in the correct position. Uh, the pistons, yes, slap them on the scale, take your fucking Dremel, and on the 606, or 604, 605, 606, I mean, it's, it's not really easy because they don't have so much of a skirt to, to grind away on, but um, we usually take take where the oil squatter is, because giving more clearance there is, I mean, it doesn't help anything, but it doesn't hurt anything. So, I mean, that's a good spot for it. Uh, the stock pistons are normally quite bad, you know? I mean, you put them on the, on the scale and it's like nine grams difference or something like that. Uh, so, the Mercedes did a good job 30 years ago, but you know, time, it is what it is. So, piston and rods, they are now done and on the bench, right? So then you take your crank, your damper, your sprocket hub, your crank, and your flywheel or your flex plate. And you need to have this in the state you're going to run the engine. So everything has to be done and perfect and finished. If you need to polish your crank, you have, you have already done this uh, or, and whatnot, you know. And this is just put in a, in a crank balancing machine. And you don't have one, but your local engine builder has one, you know. So he balanced this for you. And when that is zero, you're good to go, you know, slap everything together. If you don't have the unbalanced model of engine because then you need to tell your engine builder the weight of your rods and pistons so he can balance it with bob weights. But I mean this is 13 minutes and we have come to crank piston and rods and balancing. To build an engine we have more episodes coming because it's not fucking possible. This is the third take, and I'm gonna leave this like this, you know? So, we have to wait another three fucking days for the next video. It is what it is, and I have to remember what the fuck to say. So, I love you all, and uh, let's keep those comments coming. Love you!